Hi there everyone, Golf Course Superintendent Stu Sheridan here. I just wanted to start off by saying welcome back to the golf course. It's been great to see members out there this week and a busy tee sheet for the last few days and for the most part really good weather as well. So welcome back everyone and here's your update on the golf course for this week. In terms of the golf course, we've continued to drop heights of cut on all surfaces this week as we continue to fine tune course conditions. As we dropped heights of cut this week, you will have noticed extra clippiness around our fairways and our rough in particular. It's interesting to note that we have not fertilized fairways or rough this year at all. This is just a natural growth that we see throughout the property. As we gain more staff this week, we will be able to get people out on buffalo blowers to clean up these areas and even today's mow on Friday May 1st has also cleaned up the fairways quite nicely. In terms of our staffing levels, we do have a lower number of staff right now than we would traditionally have. This is because we need to make sure that we are providing a safe work environment for our employees. All of our staff working out on the golf course, it's a very open space and it is a safe working environment. However, everybody needs to arrive at the maintenance facility at the start of their shift, have breaks and lunches, and then leave through that same area. Uh, so we need to be careful again that we can maintain our physical distancing at our facility. We are bringing on five more university students uh, this week that will help uh, further increase the tasks that we can complete on the golf course. Uh, right now, our staff that we have are two separate teams that work completely different days uh, to keep them separate from each other. We are working with Iridia Medical to figure out how we can strategize and combine those teams and increase the number of staff that we have on a given day, which will only increase our own productivity and efficiency and get a lot more work done uh, ahead of play in the mornings. The extra five staff that we're bringing on this week will allow us to check rake bunkers on most days. We'll be able to further increase our bunker detail which we are needing to catch up on and we'll also look at completing key cultural practices such as vertical mowing greens and top dressing greens as needed as well. In terms of the Greenside Bunker Project, I'm sure most of you have seen the completed bunkers on holes number one, two, number three, and number 10. These bunkers will be open as soon as the sod around the edges knits. This usually takes about a week to 10 days, and we look forward to opening those bunkers for play. Right now, holes number four and number 12 are under construction. Number 11, we hope to have sodded by the end of today, Friday, May 1st. And that again will open for play with the bunkers as ground under repair until uh, the sod knits and we can open those bunkers also. Just a note on the bunkers throughout the golf course, the bunkers that are GU War, please use the designated entry and exit points on those bunkers to protect the turf around the edges, but also the gravel that is ready to be sprayed. Minimal disruption of that surface area helps with the overall process. Thank you for watching this video. I also wanted to take this time to thank the outside services staff who have been divoting our fairways with sand and seed, our fairways and our tee boxes each morning this week. So thank you to them for that. Thank you for watching the video and I hope everybody keeps safe and enjoys the golf course.